You're watching the Google Pixel 5 disassembly. So here we got the phone. Brand new, let's see if this one has that gap issue people are experiencing. For the most part, it seems okay. Before we take the phone apart, we need to remove the SIM tray. Now we're gonna use a hairdryer or a heat gun to heat the front of the phone where the screen is so we can loosen up the adhesive around the frame of the screen. And then we're gonna use a plastic pry tool to pry the screen off from the mid frame. All right, so trying to pry the screen assembly from the mid frame wasn't all that easy. Aside from the adhesive, there are some catches around the screen which you need to work around and try to pop them off. Once you're finally able to pry the screen off from the frame, you're gonna lift it up from the right to the left. And then you have a cable over here which is attached to the main board. You're gonna have to disconnect. First, we need to pop off this bracket. And then we can go ahead and disconnect the cable. So here's a better look at your screen assembly. You have one of those vibrating motors as an earpiece, which basically sends vibrations on top of the glass and provides sound. Now on the sides of the screen assembly, you can see these catches. You can see on the other side as well. So I'm pretty surprised that these start lifting up for some people off the frame because it has a lot of adhesive as well as the catches that go around. So the only thing I can think of is when it heats up a little bit or the phone is in use, the adhesive becomes loose and pries off just a little bit, but I really don't think it's gonna fall off or completely come off because it's pretty difficult taking it apart myself. So maybe the type of adhesive they use doesn't work well with the screen plastic and the frame of the phone. Or when they're assembling the phone, they didn't press down firmly so the adhesive would adhere to the frame. So even if the screen is lifted up a little bit, the seal isn't compromised, so you don't really have to worry about water and dust getting in. Because the adhesive around it flexes a little bit and it's sticky, and it takes some time trying to pry it off. Back to the phone itself, we have a large strip of graphite film over here, sitting on top of the battery, as well as the cameras over here, and a little portion over here on top of this metal plate. We're gonna go ahead and peel off this graphite film. There are nine T3 screws or Torx screws which need to be removed. Once those nine screws are removed, you have two more over here by the charger port covered by this tape, which you need to peel off. Once all 11 screws are removed, we can go ahead and lift up this cover over here on the charger port. And then we're gonna remove this metal plate that's covering the motherboard. On the back of this metal plate, we have the vibrator motor over here. We also have a thermal pad over here, which is on top of the processor. And let's go ahead and disconnect the battery cable. And then we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables once that's disconnected. There are the two cables over here for the cameras. Lift up and remove the cameras. Here's a better look at those two cameras. I have one more cable over here underneath this one. Go and disconnect that. Now at this point, we're gonna apply some heat to the battery from the back side of the phone. So we can loosen up the adhesive underneath and then we're gonna pry the battery off. So here's a better look at your battery. And here's the other side. Once the battery is removed, you can see there's more graphite film underneath to help transfer heat. You have a fingerprint reader located over here and the same flex cable that goes for that goes for your volume key and your power button over here. And in order to remove those, there's a bracket over here. You just slide this bracket off or remove it to gain access to the buttons. Now in order to remove the main board, there are two T3 screws which need to be removed. One of them is located over here on the top left corner and there's one on the bottom right corner. Once those screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the main board. Here's a better look at your main board. Your proximity sensor is located over here on top. 
Your SIM reader is located over here. Here's your charger port. There's a red gasket around it. Your primary microphone is located over here. It's this gold square piece. And here's the back side of the main board. Your front facing camera is located on top corner. The connector, you just have to just pop it off and remove it. Once the main board is removed, you can see there's more graphite film underneath. Your loudspeaker is located over here on the bottom right hand corner. In order to pry that off, you just have to lift up and push away from the frame. Here's a better look at that. You have two 5G millimeter wave antennas. You have one on this corner over here and the flex cable for that is this. And you have one over here on top and the flex cable is this long one right here. You also have two more microphones which aren't the primary microphone. Located on top you have one over here on top of the cameras and you have one located over here on top of the frame over here. And the flex cable over here with the four gold contacts is for your wireless charging pad, which is underneath the graphite film. You can see the shape of it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, Apply new adhesive and reapply the screen. Go ahead and power on the phone. And you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.